First, let's reign in Mongolia. Let's set our rivals, Uzbek, Chagatai. Next, let's move our armies to Min. Let's take this privilege. Manpower is always good. And finally, let's ruin our economy. Just perfect. Now I have to recruit a lot of mercenaries. Let's assign this general. He's very good. And let's declare on Min. Of course, not with this CB, but with this one. Where is my map? Simple terrain. Here it is. Let the hunt begin. Easy. Well, let's continue. The weaker the mean, the better it would be. Here it is. Now onward to Patreon. I just love playing as Oirat. Here it is. Okay, now that will be really easy. Yep, that was really easy. My peace deal is ready. Let's peace out. Now let's embrace feudalism. And now let's release and play as she. Only strong leader can build communism, so let's choose tribal despotism. Now time for privileges, mana privileges, I think that's it. Maybe advisor cost. For now only for admin advisor, I don't need anything else, but I need a lot of admin points. Stability cost modifier, why not? And let's set focus to admin. Basically, I need to annex like... Now let's increase relations with Chagatai and Uzbek. And unfortunately I have to aid for 5 years. Well, let's build at least one infantry so I can liberate this province. And forgot about merchants, let's do something with them. Build from trade here, collect from trade here. I think it's finally time to hire mercenaries. Unfortunately I don't have enough manpower for regular army. Well, that's interesting. Of course I won't help Oirat, because in general I'll be able to declare independence. Let's do it. Okay, they don't have any allies, it will be really easy. Right now, by the way, I don't care about money, I will beat up Min and steal money from them. Well, let's take burger loans, I need money right now. Oh, that's it for now, I think. Now let's return to my country. Obviously there is no communism without the power of friendship, so let's release Shan. I'll feed some provinces because well, I don't have enough admin points to conquer whole China. Okay, now let's declare on Min. It should be really easy. If someone doesn't understand why am I so enthusiastic about it, it's because uh, with low mandate, Min is basically not an enemy but punching back. Well, it seems like AI knows how to make protocol. The funny thing is that these rebels are more dangerous to me than Min. Although Min fights pretty well, actually. Oh. Well, let's piss out, I guess. Cause, well, unfortunately, this war didn't go as I planned, but still, 72 war score is pretty good. But I wanted to conquer these provinces too, to save them from Chakatai. Well, now I think I should pay out my loans, obviously. So, as you can see, I still have a lot of money, and I'll spend them on regular army. Let's delete this close division. Not sure how it's still alive. Also, let's try to ally Chakatai or Uzbek. Maybe I'll be successful. I guess I'll also start building spy network on Mongolia. Oh, by the way, I can ally Vietnam. Well, I think the Viet is pretty good ally, why not? Also, unfortunately, I think I should start developing Renaissance. Let's develop it in Wuhan. Well, that's interesting. Everyone wants to ally me for some reason. Oh, wow. That's pretty big inflation. Well, I think maybe let's send gift to Chakatai so I can try to ally it. Also not sure if I really need it, but it shouldn't cost much. Almost. Well, here it is. Of course, it's temporary alliance, I'll need their provinces and just look at their religion. Totally not acceptable for she. Well, interesting, they still try to struggle. Well, to be honest, I don't really care. I want to declare on Mongolia and it doesn't bother me, so it won't declare on me. Let's do it. If you're wondering why the delayed mean to pass through my lands, the answer is that she is very good leader. And also because I just clicked automatically. Without thinking, yeah. Always pay attention on what you're clicking. But well, I'll let them have fun, cause well, they're killing my rebels. Well, I was pretty reckless. Let's hire for company. Unfortunately, I need some reinforcements. I just need to wait for a little, because Arachoni is almost ready to give up. Almost. I need these provinces, and I won't negotiate. Maybe our glorious leader is not a military genius, but still, stubbornness of our people proved its usefulness. Let's peace out. So, some may wonder, why did I want exactly these provinces? Why didn't I want to peace out earlier, and not waste my precious resources? The answer is pretty easy, I just want to have pretty genius borders. And I'm ready to sacrifice everything for it. Renaissance has appeared. Okay, now let's start annexing Shan. By the way, really fun thing is that Min is weaker than Mongolia. Obviously I want to destroy the old Chinese order, so I'll rebel Min. And I think I should take some loans and buy mercenaries. And also let's finally give out other advisor cost reduction privileges, because well, I have very big problems with men right now. Obviously that's because I develop renaissance, but still it is unacceptable. Well, let's declare on Min. I should have an advantage. The war is going surprisingly well. Maybe I'll be able to get 100 war score. Maybe. Uh, that's going to be a pretty big problem, I think. I need to help these troops. For some reason, Min decided to stand here. Like, it's doing nothing. Like, why? Of course, that's not 100 war score, but still pretty good. So, I want to shield Min from its neighbors, so no one except me could conquer it. Technically, Korea and Japan might try to do it, but well, I doubt that they will. So, I want to release Dali and feed these provinces to Shan. 
Okay, also a lot of money. By the way, only two inflation. Not bad. Not bad. So let's fit Shan and release Dali. I need to kill off rebels first, unfortunately. Let's do it. Now let's release Dali. And also let's raise our rank. Okay, now I need to spend some time killing off rebels. I still have some manpower, so that shouldn't be a problem. By the way, I'm the first nation in the world. Finally, I found this advisor. Well, I need to fix my inflation somehow. Well, Chikatai, I'm sorry, but I want to decline. I don't need those problems right now. I have enough of other allies like Daviet. I guess I'm forced it to break alliance with me. Well, interesting. Let's try to ally Uzbek. Well, that's already not so border gore as it was. It may have been worse, let's say so. Well, let's maybe do some force because, well, that's just too much. Finally, I can choose first idea. So, as first idea, I want to choose... I want to choose expansion. I think you all already know why I have chosen expansion. I think you know. Well, it seems like Chakotai didn't survive without me. Okay, why not? Let's help Korea. Oh, well, that was weird. Here is my colonist. I think I should applicate my ruler because... Well, the stats aren't that good and I have problems with monarch points, so... Finally, yet another liberation war against Min. Let's do it. By the way, I forgot my troops here and now I'm not sure if I'll be able to transport them to the mainland. Unfortunately. I think I've turned EU4 into Hearts of Iron. I'm just occupying everything. That was really easy. Here is the kill death ratio. I'm not even sure how they managed to kill that many people. Literally human waves tactic. Finally, 100 war score. So, what do I want to take? I want to take war reparations, I need money. Because I need money, I'll take also money, logically. And also, I want to release Chi. Well, of course, I wanted to occupy it myself. But unfortunately, I don't have enough of admin points for this. And also, this overextension is just... Up. And I think I should start annexing Dali. So, I think I should delete my mercenary companies, because they just eat too much money. Well, I can leave your company. It's free company, after all. Oh, let's declare on Oirat, why not? So, from Oirat, I want these provinces. Let's send them peace. Of course, I would like to have these provinces too, but unfortunately they're going to Uzbek. Yeah, but still, this already looks familiar. And I forgot the light tape yet. Let's do it. I just noticed it, and I'm not sure, but for some reason I don't want to ally it. I don't even know why. I can annex Dali. Let's do it. How long is it going to take? Well, pretty fast. Pretty fast. Of course, I don't have enough of mana. Of course, I don't have enough of guarding capacity, but... Sorry, couldn't resist. I'll leave Yarkand alone for now. I'll just break its alliances with Dali and Uzbek. Wow. Guys, Independent Day 1 just appeared. I think everyone knows what should I do. Well, that's interesting. I think they lost against someone because, well, we had pretty good relations. But okay, okay, I would have broken a lot with it anyway because I need uh, these two points. Well, second idea group, finally. By the way, I will get rid of expression ideas right after I colonize day one. So, next idea group, let me think, let me think. As you may have already noticed, I like to use vessels in this game, so I think I'll choose influence ideas. Well, it seems like I may forget about Yarkon for the time being. It seems like we would have Vietnam War a few centuries earlier. Not a problem. Let's call in our ally. I've changed my mind, now I'm not sure if I will fully occupy Min or not. Well, here it is. Min's explosion. Well, I'm sure that this is the maximum that I could get, because, well, I don't really want to fight all of these rebels. I want to take South China before it broke away from Min. Also, I think let's release Nino. Here it is. Condolences to Min, of course. They won't survive this. Also, I don't need that many forts, let's clean up a little, they just cost me money and do nothing. What are mean peasants doing here? Go home. Go away. By the way, colony is finished, let's delete this idea group. And let's take administrative ideas. Let's conquer breakaway states. I think vessels can handle it themselves, even without my help. Well, let's declare on them too, why not? Why not? And let's start fabricating claims on Lea. Well, that was easy. One vessel less. So, Lian is allied to Korea, that's why I plan to declare on Korea, set Lian as co-belligerent, and then quickly conquer it, and focus on Korea. I don't need much from Korea, just these two provinces. It seems like Lian doesn't have troops at all. Well, it definitely makes my life easier. Well, let's fully unlock them, and take some money, of course. And finally, finally, I've been waiting for this moment for so long, you just don't imagine. Finally. Well, at least I can state something right now. 
Oh, that's pretty bad loss. Nothing serious will recover. Let's buy some manpower, I guess. I think I'll try to play defensively because of geography, yes? Because it's easy to defend for Korea and I don't have strong manpower. Finally, I conquered these two provinces. I'm really, really sorry, I've saved scammed. Just a little, just a little. I could have gotten out with just this province, but well, I really want this province to lose, so there would be less headache in the future. Well, maybe I should have also declared a Haixi, maybe, but well, I don't have manpower for this. Let's transport my troops. Maybe I'll declare on Sun. Well, it's available, let's do it. Now I'm just going to play relatively peaceful, I'm just going to clean up China, and that's it. Oh, well, not sure when did I ally Korea, but that's really bad. Still not a problem, I need just a few years to recover my manpower, and I think I'll declare on Min. And also, by the way, soon enough I'll be able to transition to communism. And let's start annexing Qi. Well, I think I'll declare on Wu and Min at the same time, because they're both allied to Korea, so there is very little sense in attacking them separately. Let's finally move trade capital to Beijing, so let's get into position. I will build some infantry. Of course, I understand that cannons would be better, but they're really expensive, and right now I think infantry is more useful for its money. Okay, so let's declare on Wu. Right now my plan is simple, I'll fully occupy it and kill all of its troops, then I'll declare on Min, kill all of its troops, fully occupy it, and then only Korea will remain, but I'll come up with something. I think I will win. By the way, I integrated Qi, and I already started building new stack. I'll use Qi's troops uh, to reinforce it. Now let's declare on Min. Shouldn't be that difficult. Well, I guess I should do something against Korea, because I can't ignore it. Well, I guess I'm kinda lucky that I declared on them while they have one mil tech less, so it's kinda easy. Yeah, that's why I wanted to fully occupy Min first, well. But Korea don't leave me a choice, I have to counterattack them. By the way, I can already piss out Min. Let's do it. Finally, monarchy is no more. Now I just have to win this war, wouldn't be that difficult. Oh. Going to be fun, going to be fun. Uh, by the way, a really fun fact. I didn't know before why do separatists spawn so fast when you have over 100 of extension. And it's not because of national unrest, right? It doesn't feel right. But because, as you can see, uh, the chance of a rebel spawn increases drastically. So I think I'll leave rebels to Korea, let them have fun, and I'll try to occupy their mainland. Oh, well, that's kinda bad, but still not a problem, I have like 4 years to fix it. Here it is. Finally court every province. Well, let's finally piss out Korea. They killed like a few rebel stacks already. Pretty good work. They can rest. And now my hands are pretty full. Although I've already killed most of rebels. But I need to siege some ports unfortunately. And do it quickly. So let's finally piss out the rule. Full on X and money. Good deal. So with the help of my army and a little bit of authoritarianism. I successfully stopped rebellions. Now I think it's finally time to stop oppressing people. And build communism. So, a little guide for me how to build communism. First, there is no communism without revolution. And there is no revolution without anarchy. So we need to become anarchists, for little. So to build communism, you need to give rights to your men. Don't worry, you can always take them away later. Now we are communist China. Hooray. Now comes the difficult part. I don't have a clue how can I cleanse, sorry, I meant conquer uh, Tibet and Xinjiang. Let me show you why I'm so worried about this. So as you can see, to do it I need to conquer Yarkand. To conquer Yarkand I need to beat Timurid and Delhi and Malwa at the same time. But now I can maybe declare on Chagatai. We are I think even, well, because as you can see Chagatai and Uzbek don't have... Uh, one second. Oh well, that changes everything. As you can see, I'm more technically advanced than these nations, and that means that I shouldn't have any problems conquering them. I just need to recover my manpower. Maybe let's ally Uzbek. Yes, let's ally them. Declare on Timurids. Not on Timurids, but on Yarkand. Call them in. Then declare on Chakatai while Uzbek is distracted. Break alliance with Uzbek. Wait for 5 years and conquer process that they need. I need, I think, just one province from Uzbek, so that shouldn't be a problem. Let's carry favors with them right now. So, I've started this 5th year Republican tradition. I'm communist China after all. So, final, let's annex final vessel. Well, oh, by the way, I can also this kingdom, let's do it. Let's do it. That's one problem less. Here it is, uh, similar to what real life China does. Well, guys, it's just perfect time, can't refuse it. Let's call in Uzbek, and uh, let's do it, let's declare on them. Well, the war against Delhi was really easy. For some reason, it didn't do anything. Maybe because it was busy with Ottomans. Maybe. Now time for Malva, I guess. That's why I hate AI allies. Well, it seems like Timurids would return soon. Okay, let's pass out Malva. Finally, China is united. 
oh well, relatively. I was already afraid that I would need to declare another war on your account because I can't annex everything I want, but, but, I forgot about this thing. And now everything's fine. Well, can't take money. Okay, first I should declare on Chakotay. Well, seems like it's not a lie of Uzbek, but it's tributary, yes. Well then, no problem, no problem, let's piss out like this. I fed some provinces to my vessel because it had claims on them, and if someone has claims on something, then it's cheaper to annex. Now let's deal with rebels. Also, I guess I should break alliance with Uzbek, let's do it. And let's declare on Chakotay, can I do it right now? I can, I can, let's declare on them. Then in 5 years I'll declare on Uzbek, I just need 2 provinces from it. I think this province and this province. Well, it seems Uzbek just joined in. Interesting. Okay, then I'll conquer these provinces in this war. No problem. Oh. Wow, not bad. Maybe I'll be able to buy institution. Okay, I'll finish this war and uh, we'll buy institution. So, if I'm right, I should take these provinces and that's it. Now let's buy institution finally. And let's see if I'm first or second. I'm first. First great power in the world. So, next idea is I think humanist. Or maybe plutocratic. Well, let's take plutocratic because, well, I have enough of military points. Yeah, plutocratic ideas are not good, but not bad too. I don't need any other military ideas. I think I'm finished with Western China. Now I need to conquer these two provinces, this province, and, well, Manchuria. I want to color this vessel, so I have to annex this vessel. Let's do it. So my plan is really simple. So I declare on Korea. When it's almost lost, and I can already sit out, I'll declare on Hayixi. Korea won't join, and this war should be really easy. Again, I'll try to play defensively, because, well, I've already tried to play offensively, and they just killed half of my army. Of course, I forgot to research new multi-tech. Well, that's really interesting, because as you can see, neither I want to move, neither Korea wants to move. We have something similar to frontline. I'll just wait till they attrition themselves to death. I think I've just invented range warfare. I'm trying to lure them here in my kill zone. Oh, I think it's obvious which reform I'm going to choose. No, really, it's not even funny. Like, you're just standing. Do nothing. Well, here they go. Let's hire some general. Maybe I'll be lucky. Yes, here it is. Yes, yes, yes. They're pretty strong, of course. But I'm stronger. Now time for counterattack. Now I can piss out Korea. So let's declare on Heishi. That's why you should keep your diplomats available. Well. Okay, not a problem. Let's piss out Korea. Yeah, I've lost my mercenary stack. Very unfortunately. Well, this war should be really easy. I hope that Korea won't allow you to guarantee these nations. So I would piss out Mongolia, of course, right now. But there is a problem that I need this province for Chinese borders. And to get this province, I need to declare on Korchin, and if I declare on Korchin, I declare on basically whole Manchuria, and I'm afraid it's just too much for me. So for now, let's just fully occupy these nations, then declare on Korchin, fully in Orochoni, and conquer everything I need. By the way, I have made a mistake here. I shouldn't have taken this province. Oh well, mistakes happen, mistakes happen. I'll sell it to Korea, maybe. Well, okay, let's declare. Are you kidding me? I hate Korea. I don't need many provinces, so I think that should be enough, I hope. I really want to see my borders right now. They should be glorious. Oh yeah. Is this a joke? How? What? <laughs> if you didn't understand what's going on, I forgot about this tag. And I was wondering why is Korea so strong? What is it doing here? So let's start scorching. I want these provinces and some money, if possible. Let's piece it out, I just need one province and money. Unfortunately, I already checked it. I can't fully take... I see. I want to take Korchin score. I'll leave these two provinces. Let's be south and let's release Korchin because, well, it will be too difficult for me to live with such overextension. Where is it? Here it is. Right now, the biggest headache is that I'll need to fight Korea to fully conquer Haishi. Well, it seems like Japan rivals me. I'm sure I've seen something like this before. Well, really a lucky day for me, isn't it? I can vassalize Mon Mal. Okay, so improve relations. And I think I'll make some donations to it. And finally, let's vassalize them. And almost whole China is under my control. Almost. I think I should move my capital to Beijing. It's more symbolic thing. So Haishi is allied to Mongolia, right? So if I declare on Mongolia and once in Haishi as co belligerent then Korea won't join in and I would be able to easily conquer the remaining part of Haishi. Sounds like a perfect plan. And now let's just piss up Mongolia. I won't take anything and don't need anything. So I've cleaned up borders a bit, I've conquered this province, also I've integrated my vessels, and now I think it's complete. It's one of the best borders that I've ever had. Yeah, very beautiful, very beautiful. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.